Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are on the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. When I was studying about the sacraments in my catechetics class as a child, I learned about the seven sacraments and also what each sacrament does. I remember especially the sacrament of extreme unction because it was the one that I could never pronounce. It was the sacrament you received when you were dying and it was sometimes called the last rites. Nowadays it is called the anointing of the sick and you don't have to be dying to receive it. You can ask for this sacrament if you are suffering a long-term illness or medical condition or even a short-term illness or if you are suffering with anxiety. In the past, the priest anointed the person's parts of the body while reciting certain prayers. The name of those parts we find mentioned here in today's Gospel. The formula used when something along the lines of For whatever sins you have committed through your eyes and then through your ears and then through your nose, mouth, your hands and your feet. It is interesting that those senses are the same ones listed in today's Gospel. When Jesus says in the Gospel, if your hand, leg lead you to sin, then cut it off. Here, the cutting off doesn't mean actually to slice off a hand, but maybe it means find a better way and a holier use. For each one of these senses and for each one of these body parts. That's why we have the gift of confession for those times we commit sins with our ears or with our mouth, our hands or our feet when they take us to places where we will be tempted or when we will sin. We know that God's mercy is there to forgive us and to give us a new beginning. There are some things we need to cut off though, those things that cause us to sin. And sometimes we need to cut off people who lead us into sin. Maybe it is the person who leads us into a gossip or to anger or whatever it is. We need to cut off the sources of our sins, those things that might lead us to an addiction of some kind. We take those things and we root them out and we cut them out of our lives. And then, like that great sacrament of anointing of the sick healed, we begin again. Jesus said, For no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon afterward to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. So whatever it is today we are being called to, let us trust in the mercy, in the absolute mercy and love of God. We know that we join our senses to the work of Christ to use them to build up the church that we might grow in holiness and others might find holiness through us. God bless you all.